All right, let's get into this week's bonus topic, and we are talking about the young guys, the rookies on tour, plenty of new faces on the PGA Tour for this new 2016-17 season. Marika, let's start with you. Is there a specific rookie that you think is going to do very well in his first year on tour? Yeah, I'm going to go with Wesley Bryan. Uh, he had a great season this year. He had three wins, but... I think that the stat that I was looking at when comparing the other rookies of the year uh, was the scoring average. And he's at 68.8, which is lower than all of the four previous winners, Emiliano Grillo, who just won last week, um, Daniel Berger, Chesson Hadley, and Jordan Spieth. If you go back to 2013, he's at least a stroke under all of those guys when they won there. So maybe it's not super fair to compare those two um, mano a mano because you're looking at full season stats, but currently where he is right now and his momentum that he's had coming off the web.com tour, I think he's poised for a huge year, especially in the scoring average category. Connell, how about you? I know the excitement for beef is just growing, <laughs> but he, is he the guy you think is going to do well this year as a rookie? Beef is what's for dinner <laughs> this year. I think I, I will echo Marika's comment about Wesley Bryan. I think he's got that right combination of, of talent, experience, he's 26, he's not 21, he's not a kid, and learning how to win on the web.com tour is, is a really good indicator of success on tours. I also like Ali Snyderjans, who is a 308 yard driving distance average on the web.com tour, one of the longest guys out there. He had a T12 at the British Open in 2015, so he knows how to play under that harsh spotlight of the PGA Tour and actually of a major. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see who, who can bring their best game inside the ropes when, when the bell goes off and the pressure of the PGA Tour season starts. You find out it's really a mental game because all these guys are, are home run hitters. I also like Grayson Murray. If you look at his stats from the web.com tour, he wins the final event in Ohio. But eight top tens for this kid out of Arizona State. And statistically, number one in birdie average, number one in scoring average, fourth in driving distance. That, to me, is the complete package that is ready for the PGA Tour. When you talk about the web.com door, it really is getting ready for the PGA Tour. Uh, let me ask you a little extra, extra real quick. Two guys who are kind of rookies, but not technically, Bryson DeChambeau and John Rahm. Out of those two, who wins first this year on the PGA Tour? I say John Rahm. I think you look at him as the low amateur at the U.S. Open and then turns pro the next week and is at the top of the leaderboard? Like, in what world does somebody like that come out and continue to play well? Bryson DeChambeau had his shining moment, and then he sort of trickled off for a little bit, didn't gain his tour card the way that he really wanted yeah. to. It took him a little bit of time. Um, so maybe he's a slow burn, but I think that John Rahm is your first winner out of the two of those on tour this year. Connell? I'm, I'm going to go with Bryson. Ooh. Part of that's wishful. You seem like a Bryson guy. I can just, <laughs> part of that's Single length thinking. clubs. <laughs> you know, journalists who work in the, in the golf business, we like uh, characters. <laughs> you know, he wears a silly hat from the 40s. All of his clubs are the same length. He's just, he's an absurd player. And I mean that as a compliment. And I think 2016 for DeChambeau was learning what pressure feels like in majors and on the PGA Tour, and that will serve him well this year. I like Bryson to, to pick his moments, get hot at the right time, maybe during major tournaments. 